Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us this, at this event. With today's unveiling of the new 100 and 200 euro banknotes, we reach a new and important milestone in the introduction of the Europa series. It is the culmination of years of preparation and cooperation between the ECB and the national central banks of the euro area to deliver a series of banknotes that are well protected against counterfeiting and still easy to check. I have the pleasure to give the floor to Mr. Mersch, member of the ECB's executive board, who will tell you more about the new banknotes before presenting them for the very first time. Mr. Mersch, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hear that everybody is on board, both live stream and any other ghosts uh, who might be in the room, so I welcome everyone. Uh, today it is, of course, a pleasure for me, because it's the last time I will talk to you about banknotes, because it is the end of our second series uh, of our Europa banknotes. And uh, I will take uh, the same moment, if you allow me, uh, some seconds uh, to talk about our common currency. First of all, I think the euro banknotes are a symbol for Europe. Some of our heads of states have recently used the concept of European sovereignty, and I think uh, our banknotes uh, are better shape than any to represent this symbol of European sovereignty. And that is also the reason why we encounter, on behalf of those who are Eurosceptic, who want to abolish Europe, who want to roll back Europe, an attempt um, either in some countries through the Target 2 discussion to recreate national euros, a German euro, an Italian euro, and so on, or to abolish altogether the euro and go back to national currencies. Because euro banknotes and coins are a good example of how cooperation within the European Union can work both effectively and also efficiently and with tangible results for every citizen. The fact that cash payments are made in the same currency with the same symbols by 340 million people, and that billions of banknotes from a dozen different printing works are being smoothly handled by over a million banknote accepting machines, more than a million. Well, this is, in my opinion, a matter that is more than pure economics. It is a social fact. Of course, we are all witnessing rapid technological progress in the area of alternative payment methods and as a central bank, uh, the ECB, and all the national central banks in the systems, we are part of these developments and we encourage also innovative uh, payment uh, uses because we want to offer the customers the best possible way in our union to do their payments. We therefore have introduced uh, a platform for SEPA standardized uh, credit transfers at uh, instant uh, and in real time instant payments, which will go live uh, at the end of November. And uh, for those who are allowed to travel, I would invite them. I hope we will be able to start this uh, service uh, in Italy. Well. This new service makes cashless retail payments even more efficient and bring it closer to cash. And thereby it will also be, or could be, a competitor to our banknotes. So we are not ideological about what means of payments people use. But also, we do studies, and our studies show that cashless payments are gradually, but very gradually, pushing cash payments a little bit to one side. However, euro banknotes 
remained still by a far margin the most important and widely used payment instrument in our union. They don't require any technical infrastructure to be used. They are also instant. If you give a banknote to someone, it's instant payment, instant settlement. You don't need a third party service provider to settle a transaction. Cash itself carries the value. It is very simple to exchange. And it is guaranteed by the central bank with legal status, legal uh, tender status, which is enshrined in the treaty. These are unique features of the currency that people, both inside but also outside the euro area, recognize. And they recognize with their feet, if I'm allowed to say so, because they want to have it. Otherwise, there would not be any sensible explanation to the continuous growth in the demand for euro banknotes. In August 2018, the total number of banknotes in circulation showed an annual growth rate of 5.2%. If I refer to the amount uh, of value that these banknotes incorporate, it would still be a growth of 4.5%, meaning way above economic growth and inflation together. The circulation of the 100 euro banknote is currently growing more strongly than all the other denominations, with an annual growth rate of 7.3%. What many people don't realize is that in terms of value, the 100 banknote is our second most important banknote after the 50, which is still our star. And that in terms of the number of banknotes in circulation, the 100 banknote is the third most widely circulating banknote. There are more than there are more 100 banknotes in circulation than five and ten banknotes together. But we are still some way apart from the U.S., where the 100 dollar banknote represents 80 percent of all circulation while in the euro area, the combined use of the 200, 100, and 50 barely represents 50% of cash uh, circulation. But of course, that shows that cash is more widely used also for smaller denominations in Europe than it is in other jurisdictions. The high demand for cash for payments, together with the bank's efforts to optimize the operation of ATMs. And I don't know whether the reduction of the number of ATMs is part of this optimization process. I would leave that to the, for the consumer. Uh, but the fact is uh, that the high demand for cash has prompted more and more banks nowadays also to regularly put the 100 banknotes into their ATMs for their customers. Of course, there are regional differences, and there are also differences from one country to the other. In total, more than 2.7 billion Euro 100 banknotes are currently in circulation, with a total face value of 272 billion Euro. By comparison uh, with the end of April 2002, when the euro replaced all the 12 legacy currencies for payment purposes, at that moment the entire circulation of all seven banknotes denomination came exactly to the same amount as we have today for the sole 100 banknotes, meaning 272 billion. So this shows the relevance of the 100 banknote. It is not just a niche product, and is also not just a riches product. It is an important banknote for our everyday life. But a 200 banknote is also important. It has particular relevance for those who wish to hold at the same time 
something uh, for their savings in central bank money, or if they want to make larger payments. And believe me, there are many occasions of what I consider a fully legitimate nature where such transactions are made in cash. The 200 is slightly increasing in gross now at 4.6%, and it suggests that the 200 banknotes uh, will gain in importance in the coming years. But of course, the 200 to some extent is less used because people still have hysteresis of their national currencies, and in many countries there was no such equivalent to a 200 banknote while there were, in most countries, equivalents to a 100 euro banknote uh, in terms of national currency. But this is the reason it's slowly fading out and waning. It should also be recognized that the ability to make cash payments remains particularly important for certain groups in our society which, for various reasons, have a preference and even a need to make cash payments rather than use other payments instruments. I speak, for example, when using cash, people can control their spending more easily. And I think, especially for youngsters, for young children, it's easier to accustomize them to control their spending habits uh, if uh, one accustomizes them with banknotes. In addition, banknotes are probably the most inclusive instrument of payments. Indeed, the easy accepts accessibility of cash is uh, important for the elderly, for the socially vulnerable, and as I said, also for minors. It also enables children to learn about money and better understand its value. And I can tell you that we have a European Retail Payments Board, uh, which is chaired uh, by myself, and uh, we have recently received increasingly requests from the European Consumers Associations and the associations representing the aged people and also some uh, people which are vulnerable or with disablement. And they all said, we need to ensure that people have the choice of payment and we need to continue to have a right of access to cash and to ATMs. And I would not be surprised if at uh, our next meeting of the ERPB in November, we would decide uh, to have a work stream established in order to uh, elaborate standards and uh, maybe recommendations how we would uh, ensure that the European consumers, especially the more vulnerable part of our society, continue to have a guarantee of access to cash if their preference is for cash payments. Following the replacement of the Euro 5 to 50 notes, the launch now of the new 100 and 200, as I said, will mark the end of our Europa series. Also for these two last denominations, the concept of evolution rather than revolution is applying. They include distinctly, di distinctly improved security features, which mainly reflects the progress that has been made over the years in the banknote production facilities and technology. With the changeover to the new 100 and 200 banknotes, the entire set of euro banknotes will now continue to provide a strong guarantee against counterfeiting. This makes Euro banknotes even more secure. But at the same time, we also make it easier to check whether they are genuine and also to handle them. I will come back on why this is done so. On May 2019, 28th of May, Across the entire euro area, the new 100 and 200 euro notes will be made available and enter into circulation. Why this long delay between now and then? Because I told you at the beginning, more than a million machines need to be adjusted. Uh, their programs need to be updated in order to be ready for day May 28. 
Both denominations will contain a range of new and innovative security features. For us as individuals, they can be easily checked manually with a traditional feel, look and tilt method that I have repeated each time we introduce new banknotes, so I don't repeat it again. This is of fundamental importance as euro banknotes remain the most important payment instruments for people across the euro area and you also see in every poll how much people are attached not only to the single currency but also to cash. The new 100 and 200 notes offer that's one of the main features that make them distinct from the old series. They are now the different size. They are now the same height, the same size as the 50. They are not the same breadth, but the same height. This change makes it a little bit easier when you look into your wallet. The notes will also be uh, better qualified to resist wear and tear. And that is also something that benefits a consumer. There are some security features uh, that will be presented in a nice film uh, immediately after my speech, I suppose. And uh, we will continue in our close cooperation within the euro system with the banknote machine industry, which will have, from now on, they will be made available with the new banknotes in order to adjust their programs, to test them. We make them available also to the police. We will make them available to Chamber of Commerce and other uh, business facilitators in order to ensure a smooth introduction of these banknotes. Also, banks, retailers and professional cash handlers will have to familiarize themselves with the new notes and their security features, and they will have to train their staff. This takes a little bit of time. I therefore count on the continued good cooperation with all stakeholders to make this last launch under the Europa series a smooth and successful event. I was told if there are questions, and I would be willing to answer them, we should proceed now, or would we see the, the film first? The film? Okay, I think that's the nicest part. If there are questions, I'm ready to take some. The second series of Euro banknotes has been gradually introduced over the past few years. And on the 28th of May, 2019, the new 100 and 200 euro banknotes will start circulating. Like the 50, the new notes have a portrait of Europa in the hologram and in the watermark. And when they are tilted, the emerald number changes color and shows small euro symbols. They also have a brand new security feature, the satellite hologram showing small euro symbols moving around the number. With the new 100 and 200 euro, the second series of banknotes is now complete. Banknotes have to be upgraded from time to time so that they remain secure, as Europeans rely on them to make payments and for saving. The new 100 and 200 euro in circulation as of the 28th of May 2019. The euro, our money. We are now proceeding to the unveiling. 